So first of all, you need to go to 2D animation. If you already chose something else, you can go to File, New, and then choose 2D animation. After that, you will see this kind of uh, user interface. Um, after that, what you need to do is you need to go to Material. I remember that we are on Draw Mode, okay? And on material, we you will see a lot of materials. Just you can delete them by clicking here on minus minus. We'll get, we will get this solid fill. So we'll go to dot stroke and click on minus. So we have this one material called solid fill. So solid fill has only fill but not stroke. You could draw something. You have a circle, but it doesn't have stroke. It doesn't have outline. Okay, so to make outline visible you need to go to stroke click on stroke okay check this and then change the base color here to a darker one i'll also change the base color of fill to something like orange okay and now if i draw you will see i have uh okay what's happening Uh, there's something not working. Why is it white? Uh, solid fill. Um, okay. Accidentally, I checked this hold out. Okay. So now if you draw, you will see this um, orange fill with black, uh, outline the black outline is not mm, clearly visible because of the opacity for that you'll go to strength here and change this to one now if you draw you can see the outline control set uh, so um now i'm ready to draw but before that i'm going to create one more material click plus here click on new now we have material, uh, I'll rename it Outline. Um, so this has Stroke Not Fill. So we're not going to do anything because this is what we want. Stroke with black color. Okay. Now we'll go to Data here, the, the Object Data Properties. Uh, it has two layers. Okay. We're going to work on layers. Uh, if you have worked on Photoshop before, you will know what layers are. But if you don't know, it's just, uh, you know, uh, levels, uh, kind of, uh, you draw something, uh, maybe on, let's say, on a plain paper. And then on top of that, you will add another paper, page, something like that. So that's, so th that's the concept of, uh, layer so if you write some uh, draw something on this fills layer and if if you go to lines layer if any whatever you draw on lines layer will cover this fills layer because it's above the fills layer okay so I think I'm gonna switch them uh, what I can do is go to lines and if you click here down you know down button it'll go down so lines so I'm on lines uh, layer with outline material so with outline material on um, lines layer I'm gonna go to this line tool and holding the shift key I'm gonna go and draw a line like this and press enter don't forget to press enter when you draw when you use these tools like line box and circle okay okay after that I'm gonna go to solid fill uh, material and I'm gonna work on fills layer okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to circle and uh, holding the shift key I'm gonna draw a perfect circle 
if don't if you don't hold shift key you're not gonna make a perfect circle after that press enter okay now uh check this out we are on frame one okay by default so keep that uh, as it is okay so uh we just need to draw once and after that we'll go to edit mode okay and then click on this uh, ball and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to another frame right now we can see only 1 20 40 60 if you click here and then drag it's gonna zoom in the timeline so now what are we going to do is uh, we're going to see all these frames so by default we are on 24 frames per second um, so we're going to keep that mm, as it is uh, okay I'm not able to see the uh, 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 the frame per second output yeah output frame frame rate 24 fps 24 frames per second so we're good with that we're not going to change that so we're going to go to frame 8 and click on this ball and press g and then we're going to move this like this okay And then now we're gonna go to 16 frame 16 so it automatically cre cre automatically creates a mm, keyframe here so this these signs are keyframes okay we're on 60 so the grayish uh, ball this is uh, onion skin that means the layer uh, before and after the sorry frame before and after the actual frame okay uh suppose let's say okay on 16 i'm gonna go to this ball grab this ball by pressing g and i'm gonna go here okay so now if you go to frame 8 you're gonna see two different uh grayish balls so this one is from uh the frame before and this one is from the frame after okay so after 16 we're gonna go to 24 frame 24 grab the ball i'm gonna go here okay go to 32 you're gonna grab the ball like this and then lastly you're gonna go to maybe 40 and then grab it and go like this okay now what you need to do is the end here is 250 that means the animation will play until it reaches 250 frames and that's what we don't want after for frame 40 we're gonna stop the animation otherwise it's gonna like you're gonna play but then after that you're gonna wait for a long time so we don't need that so at this end click here and type 40 40 and enter so now we only have 40 frames after 40 frames we don't have any frames so if you click here now this is the play button if you click here it's gonna play the animation and after 40 it's gonna come back to frame one okay right now it doesn't look that good we're gonna go back here on frame one and we're gonna go to frame eight so in between them we need one more frame okay so i'm gonna grab this uh ball pressing g and, uh, and i'm gonna put some around here okay and then on 12th frame 
I'm gonna grab this and put it here and on frame 20 I'm gonna grab this and put it here and uh, frame 28 I'm gonna put it like here okay and on 36 frame 36 I'm gonna put this here okay now if you play it looks better okay let's go back to frame one uh, you can actually click here okay jump to end okay so um, if you play again it looks good but still um, not too smooth so for that we're gonna what we do what we can do is we are gonna okay first of all what we're gonna do is let's go to frame 8 so this is where the ball hits the ground and in animation we make it a little exaggerated too and uh, we're gonna do that click on the um, ball and we're gonna go to this uh, what's this uh, transform and then this blue thing here we're gonna drag it down a little bit okay and then press G and then we're gonna take it down here okay we're gonna go to 16 same thing okay we the transform is already active so we're gonna drag it a little bit not too much okay so here is the thing on the eighth frame we have squeezed is a lot but on 16th we're gonna squeeze less okay a little less than frame eight not too much okay and then let's go to 24 uh, here we won't squeeze much just a little bit just very very light okay and then 32 we're not gonna squeeze I guess okay now if you uh, play the animation you can see that the ball is squeezing when it's hitting the ground but it's not enough we need to make it a little smooth okay the animation should be a little smooth so in between we're gonna go here uh, on frame uh, for three four maybe I don't know uh, This is four. Okay, I'm gonna go to frame two and then I'm gonna grab. Okay, I'm gonna go to select box, click here and grab, and I'm gonna put my ball here. And then here on six, I'm gonna put this a little here, a little bit here. And what I can do is I can squeeze it a little bit again. Squeeze it a little bit. And I'm going to rotate this, okay? A little bit, okay? And I'm going to go to frame 10. Frame 10, I'm gonna uh, 
grab this and put it here and then I'm gonna rotate this a little bit okay uh, okay first of all let's not rotate first of all I will make it a little less squeezed and then I'll rotate okay on frame frame 14 I'm gonna uh, sorry I'm gonna grab this and put it here and then squeeze it just a little bit okay not too noticeable and rotate it frame 18 uh, here uh, let's squeeze and then rotate okay 22 here just a little bit squeeze not too much okay Twenty six. Uh, okay. Twenty six is going to go a little here, maybe a little less squeezed. Frame thirty, I'm going to go a little here. Okay. Thirty four. Just a little bit here. Thirty-eight. Just a little bit here. Okay. Now let's play the animation. That's way more smoother. Okay. Still, uh, still needs uh, more smoothing, but this is enough for this tutorial it's you know it looks kind of uh, bounce like a bouncing ball take your time and just uh, insert some more frames in between okay and then you will get the result uh, you can make the result I mean make the animation better than this okay so right now this is the animation i have created for you for this tutorial so this is how you can make a 2d bouncing ball animation in blender using grease pencil okay so if you like the video don't forget to don't forget to hit the like button uh, leave a comment below and uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel.